What's up guys, Ben from Living Survival, and today I got a brand new tool from Leatherman. This is the Leatherman Rev, so stick with me. So today I got a brand new tool for 2015. This is the Leatherman Rev. This uh, multi-tool has 13 tools on it. It's very similar to the Wingman or the Sidekick. Uh, of those 13 tools, you have a knife blade, of course. It's a 420HC knife blade, similar to what's found on most of their multi-tools. Uh, it does open from the outside, which is very nice, and it's got this uh, liner lock, which snaps closed so that it does lock open, and then you just press the, the liner there to retract it. Um, it's got a nice deep carry pocket clip on the back that's built in. You could also take that off if you wish. Uh, that about does it for the tools on the outside. You can see there that it says Phillips and flat-headed screwdriver. However, those are on the inside. So looking at the inside of the tool here, you have your standard pliers, uh, needle nose pliers up top, then standard pliers with wire cutter below that, non-replaceable blades on the wire cutter. Then on the inside, on the one side, you have a flat blade screwdriver and a Phillips screwdriver. And then on the opposite side of the tool, you have a can opener slash bottle opener, a file with a ruler on the other side, and then a package opener. These package openers come in pretty dang handy for when you need to get into those, those blister packs or those uh, plastic packaging that's really hard to open. That's where those package openers come in really handy. So like I said, 13 tools and it weighs in at 5.9 ounces. It's very light weight, which I really like. You barely notice it's in your pocket, so it'd be great for like a budget EDC multi-tool. Um, definitely great for you know survival kits, for maybe on the boat, in the RV, things like that. Places where you want to just stash a you know uh, a wallet-friendly Leatherman and still have the quality of the Leatherman and still have that 25-year warranty, uh, which Leatherman puts on their multi-tools. So I'm going to go ahead and play around with this a little bit, and I'll come back and tell you what I like about it. All right, so size-wise, I just wanted to compare it to a few other tools here. We have the Leatherman Wave. Now I have the accessory pocket clip put on that. I like to have a pocket clip because I like to use these without the sheath to slip them onto my bags or, you know, of course, wear it in my pocket. So that is nice that the Leatherman Rev comes with that pocket clip. And also it does have the outside opening blade, which is found as well on the Leatherman Wave. So definitely like that uh, feature about the rev and then here it is compared to a rebar you can see that the rebar is pretty much the same size a little bit smaller than the wave so pretty similar in size to these other two um, more expensive versions of the leatherman but the weight on this is much less definitely a lot less than the wave and you definitely can feel the difference carrying this in your pocket 
So we'll take a look at the size comparison between the blade You can see that it's a little bit smaller than the Wave. But definitely just as sharp. This thing comes razor sharp. And it's quite durable too. There's no bend in it really. You actually have a little bit more bend in the Wave than you do in the Rev. But it is a little bit smaller blade. And then looking at the plier difference between the Rev and the Rebar, you can see that the Rebar has the <clears throat> replaceable blades there which the Rev does not. So I like this little tool. It's very lightweight, very easy to use, and it has the essentials that you'd expect to find on a budget version of a Leatherman tool. It seems to be built with, you know, the same quality as their other multi-tools. Like I said, it's very similar to the Wingman or the Sidekick. On the Sidekick, I've got Chris Tanner's bird in the background. On the sidekick, you do have spring-loaded pliers, a saw, and a lanyard attachment that you don't have on this one. And on the wingman, you have a uh, spring-assisted uh, uh, pliers as well, and then also the scissors that you don't get on this as well. But overall, I think it's very nice for a budget-friendly Leatherman. I think it comes in about $10 or $15 less than the wingman or the sidekick. I do like how the knife is accessible from the outside of the tool without having to open it up. That's definitely a plus to have. Although I wish they would have configured the knife blade to be similar to the Sidekick or Wingman. On the Sidekick and Wingman, you can really get it out very easily with one hand. This one, is the hole is placed quite high and it's, it's placed quite low on the tool. So it does take some work to get this open with one hand. You really can't do it without moving your hand or scooching your hand up. So you know it would have been nice if that was similar to the wingman or the sidekick because you can uh, flip that one open with one hand there isn't any other tools on the outside of this which i find is okay it might be nice if the package opener at least was on the outside because i do find myself using that a lot and it would be nice if it was accessible from the outside but that being said this isn't a keychain multi-tool so it's not like you're going to have this on your keychain and need that very fast access anyway uh, like I said, very good for throwing in survival kits, bug out bags, get home kits in the car, have this in the glove box of your car, maybe the glove box of your boat or in your RV. Definitely handy to have uh, with the basic set of tools and the quality from Leatherman. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video today on the Leatherman Rev. I think it's a great multi-tool for an entry level into multi-tools, maybe as a gift to someone that doesn't have one. Uh, maybe you're, you want to buy a few of them and put them in all different kits. So I definitely like the aspect and the price point and the tool set that you get on the Leatherman Rev. And did I say it's very lightweight? That's pretty cool as well. So I hope you guys like this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you share it on all your social media, Twitter, uh, Google+, and Facebook. Make sure you leave me some comments below. I do try to reply to each and every comment. And as always, guys, subscribe for more videos.